uh, my name is asha uh, if i understand correctly the universe is is like a dream that appears in pure consciousness or pure awareness so my question is does consciousness then have can it change the dream or the uni- you know the laws the universe does it have control over what is appearing or is the appearance like spontaneous like what we see in our dreams so mm. is it just something that's appearing to consciousness over which it has no volitional volitional control in which case it seems that pure consciousness is no longer omnipotent or all powerful all right on um, wait on the other hand oh, hold on to the other hand okay <laughs> now i'm going to answer this first part of the question okay. first because there's a lot involved okay. mm-hmm. there's a lot involved there so this universe all our life is like an appearance in pure consciousness what are you you are pure consciousness mm. like the mandukya thing which we started off with you are this pure consciousness in which the dream of your dreams appear the dream of your waking appears and no dreams at all deep sleep that also appears and it all, it keeps changing but you are this uh, background consciousness like a movie screen or something <laughs> all right but now she's asking what's your name again i'm sorry asha 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 is asking uh do uh, does the pure consciousness have any volitional control over this dream now there is uh, one must investigate a little deeper it's like asking so if i identify myself as pure consciousness and this life is a dream uh, asha's life is a dream can i craft a better life for asha as pure consciousness may mm. yeah. answer would be again yes and no no primarily because first of all when you say volition i want to change the terms and conditions of this life i didn't read the fine print when i was born oh. that the <laughs> terms and conditions apply <laughs> now i i am going to i want to renegotiate all this uh, this is not working for me <laughs> but that volition that desire is part of the mind Uh, is at the level yeah, i'll come to you yeah. uh, is at the level of the mind pure consciousness is the witness of that too remember my desire to change the terms and conditions of my life it disappears when i fall asleep and i start dreaming something else it disappears completely when i go into deep sleep but pure consciousness continues so the volition of making this change or that change is not uh, assess is not a part of your real nature it appears as part of the dream as much as the project of a character in a movie would be a mo- person in the movie wants to do something in the movie you know achieve great things in the movie now you are the watcher of the movie the the hero's project in the movie is not your project you identify with it and you enjoy the whole thing but it's not your project i mean i don't mean at the level of me as such i mean like exactly the the supreme consciousness the supreme or consci- can ah. it change the universe that is dreaming right. right you ask the question you use terms like omnipotence of pure consciousness yes. all right now we come to the second level of this is there someone in charge all right asha is not in charge <laughs> of the universe we have settled that but is there somebody in charge at all anybody out there <laughs> yes yes so that is the idea of god in advaita vedanta the absolute reality pure consciousness is one thing which let's just call it brahman and uh, there is something called ishwar or god that the god of religion and vedanta accepts it that there is there is a pure consciousness with the power of maya which is called ishwara which is in charge of creating maintaining and finally destroying this entire universe and again creating maintaining just like your own day goes through waking dreaming deep sleep and again waking dreaming deep sleep similarly on a cosmic scale there is a consciousness which wakes up and then this, this universe is created and the whole work day is this universe and then that cos- cosmic consciousness goes to bed and this whole universe disappears srishti sthiti pralaya uh, creation or projection existence of this universe and then disappearance of this universe and again repeat and repeat and so on all of those are appearances in pure consciousness 
But at the level of the appearance, there is someone, something in charge, which is called the God of the universe. That's not the individual being. The universe doesn't run according to our whims. Almost nothing runs according to our whims. <laughs> I love that when, um, uh, when Professor Bryant, he said, uh, what do you mean I am Brahman? Uh, God is in charge of running the universe. God controls the universe. I can't even control my own bowel movements. So, <laughs> so there's this huge difference, gulf between the individual being and the cosmic being. Individual being, jiva in Sanskrit. Cosmic being, um, is Shiva, it sort of rhymes nicely, Jiva and Shiva, Ishvara, Saguna Brahman, Brahman with attributes. But beyond the individual and the cosmic is you, the basic awareness, the pure consciousness. That's your real nature. And that's also God's real nature. It's calculating, the wheels are <laughs> turning. <laughs> yes. So, um, uh -huh. so, the pure consciousness is is unmoving is yeah. is still is peaceful it it's, it's beyond yes. attributes and beyond attributes. and that, that's so, but, called nirguna brahman but uh -huh. from that is what creation arises so the very creating isn't that kind of like a i don't know if whether to say desire but it's like a disturbance or yeah. a, or yes. a, in that if, pure if it actually did disturb or change you could say that but it actually doesn't disturb how disturbed is the screen when there is um, a comedy playing, a tragedy playing, a, a horror film playing, no? or no movie at all playing? Is the screen exactly the same? It's the same. It's absolutely the same. Now, one must distinguish between consciousness as such and mind. When I think, the mind moves. I mean, there, there are things happening in the mind. When I think, I imagine, I enjoy, I suffer, uh, I wake, I dream. I fall asleep. All of this is mind, not consciousness. And it's lit up by you, the consciousness. You are your only job, quote unquote. It's not a job. It's your very nature is shining. This undiluted, undiluted, unaffected shining is our real nature, Brahman. There it's always perfectly peaceful. Or peace itself, in fact. That's the name used in the Mandukya. Shantam. You are peace itself. And there is a temporary peace and rest and restlessness going on in this the world of appearance. Mm. 